What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and The Purge ramps up here on YouTube. A brand new policy targeting specific types of content, as well as content that quote-unquote targets individuals, will now be removed from YouTube, the new rules being enforced immediately, and a ramp-up to come in weeks to come. Dang it! <laughs> I... I don't, YouTube, there's a reason why I say, you know, there's a reason why I kept my day job. Yeah, it's costing me my hair. Yeah, it's cutting out a lot of time for me to uh, relax. But YouTube is a fleeting thing. Unless you make content like about cats or you're a degenerate piece of trash influencer, um, your life on this platform, the days in which you are allowed to be on this platform, I should say, are numbered. What is that number? No one really knows. The rules that YouTube enforces are nebulous at best. And as creators, we're left in the dark. Just the other day, I saw content creator Def Noodles talk about how his Karen, his video about Karen's was getting, uh, you know, the getting hit by YouTube because Karens are apparently a protected class now. Uh, creators find out about rule changes when they uh, negatively affect our channels. We don't get actually any information uh, on how to avoid that. Now, this coming from NBC News and being picked up by everybody, YouTube bans Q content, other conspiracy content that targets individuals. YouTube said it will be enforcing the updated policy immediately with a ramp up to come. YouTube said Thursday that it would no longer allow content that that targets individuals and groups with various theories, specifically Q theories and its antecedent, the pizza world. Now, here's the problem. Again, the best disinfectant for bad ideas is sunlight. It is not to push it underground. When you have theories, for example, um, that as wild as they may be, I mean, are, are they going to ban flat earth content from YouTube? Uh, content that says we never landed on the moon. What? Where does that line drawn? What happens when you ban this type of content, when you push it underground, instead of allowing traditional content creators to refute certain things, it's hidden from public sight. It only reinforces the idea that there's somebody out there trying to suppress this. And what it does is indirectly adds validity to these specific theories. And I don't know when um, the censorious uh, uh, fans of the world will finally understand that. I think that if you want to say that we're not going to run ads on a particular type of content, that's fine, I suppose. That's your option. But the idea that removing it uh, will stop the ideas from spreading is absurd. I mean, we have hundreds of years of history that prove that wrong. The new rules and expansion of YouTube's existing rules will prohibit content that... Uh, you know, essentially says anybody's a part of a particular agenda or a, a theory. The, pr the problem is, and I don't even know what, what words I can even say on this platform. The problem is we know how this is going to be enforced. This is going to be enforced unevenly and wildly. When my videos get hit uh, and have ads removed, the reasoning is wrong 99% of the time. So now I'm supposed to expect these very same horribly inaccurate bots to now identify what content is actually spreading non-approved theories. YouTube's move to rid the platform of Q content follows similar recent changes from social media platforms. In July, Twitter did it, and last week, Facebook did it. It's almost like these three groups work together to actively suppress ideas that they don't like. Now, this is not me endorsing any of the, th the ideas that this group holds because I don't even really understand them. The beauty of being a free speech absolutist is that I don't have to. It doesn't matter what they're saying. Pushing it uh, down underground only adds extra cachet to the things that they're saying. 
their whole idea, their whole shtick is that this is stuff that people don't want you to know. And now YouTube is proving them correct. Since 2018, YouTube has taken a series of enforcement actions and policy changes to reduce their content using existing rules against bad behavior and or revealing private information. These moves led to the removal of tens of thousands of Q videos and the termination of hundreds of related channels. But as CEO Susan Wojcicki told CNN, a lot of Q videos have escaped moderation thus far because they are considered, quote, borderline content, having not violated any policy. Well, then change the policy so that you can ban it. Oh, that's what you're doing, right? Isn't that interesting how YouTube tells us that we're not supposed to be punished retroactively for new policy changes, but it appears that they are lying about that, right? They tell content creators that we won't be given strikes for existing, you know, for changes in existing content, but they're still going to remove it. Quote, I think with every policy, it needs to be defined very clearly. <laughs> oh, YouTube. <laughs> oh, my God. What policy do you have for creators that's clearly defined? Would you, that that's a kind of thing that we would like to put in terms of policies and make sure that we're super clear. Well, not a blanket ban. YouTube expects a new policy to have a significant impact on the remaining Q accounts. Their followers have uh, targeted celebrities, politicians, and companies seemingly at random with various accusations posted to YouTube. Those videos are then so widely viewed that they saturate the top search results with different theories drowning out official sources of information and for celebrities, even movie trailers. Won't somebody think of the celebrities? Oh yeah, that's all YouTube cares about. Celebrities and mainstream media. Of course. Of course. YouTube, uh, they love their celebrities. They love their Willie Smith and their other various vapid Hollywood celebrities infecting the platform like Brie Larson with boring content that gets crammed to the top of every search result. They love running those late night clips of unfunny jokes from comedian hacks like Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. Eh, orange man bad, am I right? <laughs> Boring, garbage, lazy writing, SNL skits. That's what YouTube wants. Now, this isn't me endorsing any of their ideas. This is me standing and saying that I don't endorse banning any type of uh, ideas. Now, you want to talk to me about content, you know, that is over the line, doing, committing something, an act or something like that. Yeah, okay, fine, right? I think we can all think of a few type of things that just really shouldn't be on YouTube um, or that we're okay with it not being on YouTube. But when you're talking about banning ideas, you're telling me that you can't bother to refute them, that you're simply just giving up and banning it. All that's going to do is lead more credence. A spokesperson for YouTube declined to comment on specific videos or creators that would be affected by the new policy. Some of the most viral videos uh, of the type content on YouTube, including a documentary style film, has racked up more than 15 million views and entire channels dedicated to the theory with millions of views and collective subscribers were taken down Thursday and replaced with banners explaining that the removal was due to multiple or severe violations of YouTube policy prohibiting content designed to be mean. Other accounts were still available. This is why I support alt tech like BitChute and um, Library or Odyssey now. Um, Daily Motion, even though it's always broken. I hear Rumble's a thing now. I haven't checked that out. YouTube will not enforce this evenly. They will not enforce it uh, correctly. And so many other videos will be swept up in the um in the dragnet are they going to remove videos that debunk these theories um i don't know nobody knows i think the answer is probably yes and usually we see youtube making policy changes because one or two people get upset and we saw them uh you know we saw tim heidecker uh demanding youtube ban a certain content creator and then they were banned within hours later and then YouTube will write a new policy and say, oh, everyone has to live under this new policy because 
uh, that's the way it is. Look, I said a long time ago that I didn't think this channel would make it till Christmas, and we're still two months to go for that to even for me to even be wrong about that. I 100% appreciate all of your support. I appreciate all of you who support me on Subscribestar. There's a link in the in the description below. Please subscribe to the channel. Also check out my other channel, my other channels on various alt tech. All the links are in the description, my Discord, all that stuff. Stay connected. Who knows how long I'll be here. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.